Uh, Marisa is Tionko. Uh, most of the SSD staff are very familiar to her, but I will still give, uh, give it a short presentation about my profile. Uh, Marita Stionko is a research fellow at uh, the International Food Policy Research Institute in based in Washington, D.C. Uh, more precisely in uh, uh, the Market Trade Institution and the Institution Division. But she is outposted. She's based here in the Philippines, uh, working for, still working for IFPRI. But prior to joining to, to join in uh, IFPRI, uh, she has actually worked here in uh, the SSD Division uh, for several years. So most of uh, the SSD staff are very familiar with her. We are very happy to uh, have her back. Uh, I'm not saying that she's now working at SSD, but we're very happy to have her back to give us uh, this seminar. Uh, Marites also provided some uh, research assistance to the World Fish Centers uh, while she was here. And uh, her research interests are on uh, socioeconomic survey design, uh, data management, econometric analysis, and uh, project management. Uh, Maritais has a very wide uh, experience working in a different region, especially in South and Southeast Asia, East and West Africa. Uh, today, she's going to be talking about optimization of sample survey design, uh, the case of the ACLA control project. Uh, I can uh, project that this is going to be a very interesting uh, presentation. Uh, we do a lot of survey here, and I'm very happy that the audience is already quite big. And uh, Maritais, please. Uh, you can go ahead uh, with your presentation. Uh, welcome, Bob, again. Thank you very much, Bob, for the nice introduction. Also, <laughs> 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 um, It's good to oh, find my microphone. 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 Say, I won't be able to see my slides. Yes. Okay, I won't be able to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I was expecting that this would be too far away. And I'm happy to see a lot of familiar faces here. Um, I was expecting Dr. Paris to be here because she was the one who initiated this and who invited me to present this um, talk today. Okay, so. Um, uh, just a very brief background. This is not originally from me. Um, this is a um, presentation by my, by our colleague, Dr. Hugo de Groot of CIMIC. And so I'm so grateful to him that he was he, he shared most of his slides to me. Um, he's um, my collaborator <coughs> in the Ampla Boxing Project. I will tell you more about the Ampla Control Project later on, but my focus now is on optimization of sample survey designs. Um, it's actually for household survey designs in developing countries. Okay, as an introduction, we all know as economists that we routinely design some, our sampling framework and implement household surveys um, without sometimes thinking of how accurate or precise our sample is if we have lots of budget or money we can do just uh, say all sample all of the households right but then that is our constraint we don't have that budget so yet most of us were not actually trained to do um, sample survey methodology or survey design so um, we just go straight sometimes we just go straight to the field randomly collect the households and then start the survey. We don't think about the survey design or the methodology. There are textbooks and sampling techniques. The classic ones are William Cochran's and the very simple uh, one by Graham Carlton. These are way back in the 70s when I was still doing my um, BS. <laughs> Okay, but um, the question is whether it's a concern for economists, the, some, the survey design. Yes, it is, because just like any economic problem, that we have an objective function, which is to maximize the accuracy of estimates to be obtained from the survey, subject to the constraint, as I said, the budget and the costs. 
And the objective of optimizing the sample is that to calculate the best sampling strategy with a given budget and minimize the error or the root mean square <coughs> error. There are a lot of sampling designs out there, starting from simple random design or simple, simple random sampling, stratified sampling, two-state sampling, systematic sampling, and so on. I'm going to talk about the simple random sampling and the two-stage two random sampling. Okay, um, from theory, the summary statistics for sample surveys are, of course, you're all familiar with this, population mean, variance, standard deviation, coefficient of variation, and the bias of if the mean, the sample mean is not equal to the population mean, then there exists a bias. If not, if they're equal, then the, the population, the sample mean is at bias. And of course, the standard error. The precision in simple random sampling can be um, um, dealt with by optimizing the root mean square error of the random simple random sample. So the formula is there, as I said, it's just minimizing the error, which is the variance and then the bias. Yes. And we optimize that subject to the cost which is for simple random sampling. These are composed of the fixed cost per village and the average cost per household. Um, by based on other surveys, we would be able to know the fixed cost per village and the average cost per household. There are, of course, other variables that we want to consider when you do simple random sampling, like those um, if you want to do um, specific uh, specific villages like those who are farm households or farm villages and then if you want to do some gender um, some uh, gender disaggregation which you need to do the stratified sampling um, you can also do when you do simple random sampling but that will be exposed because you just do randomly sample all the household or the number of households depending on your budget. And then after that, you can um, divide which ones are female and which ones are male. But then that would be very costly. As um, you can see in our standard error, as you increase, you, you have to increase the sample size in order to get a precise um, a precise sample, sample or uh, where you have can optimize your sample, sampling. So for example, in this case, the sample size has to be um, 300 in order to get at least a root mean square error of 5%. Um, and then when it comes to budget, it's also expensive as I mentioned for the simple random sample. So why do stratify two stage random sampling? Um, we do this because we want to have um, sometimes we, we, we have to do the groupings. And like as I mentioned, we can do like by province or say by supplications or by districts before we go into the second level, which is households or by village and then households. And then within the household, you can do intra-household, which is uh, by male, female. The problem with stratification is that you increase the error, the standard error, but then you would reduce or minimize the cost. So to balance that, we optimize the design. And in optimizing, as I mentioned, we do two-stage <coughs> or even three-stage. So for our primary strata, for example, we do village or enumeration areas. And then for our secondary sample, we do households or rice farming, households or individuals or even children, depending on the objective of your survey. So for example, again, you see similar 
statistics here, you have the population variance, and but then you have two variances, the between villages or between strata and the within village or be, between households within the village. This two you have to minimize in order to get an unbiased estimator. And as you can see, the stratification provides a more precise estimate uh, based on the standard the error or the variances as shown here. They are smaller compared to the simple random sampling variance. Um, okay, I'm, I'm go not going to go into this detail because I'll give an example later on using our project, um, our survey on alpha control project. But for now, you can remember, please remember that M would be your straight up and then N would be your notes. Um, it's other way. So N is your strata or your village and then the second stage would be your households or your M. Okay, uh, there's a note there that do not use simple random sampling in the dis when you, you sample districts or divisions or subdivisions. That is your first stage sampling. Um, why? Again, because of the precision the, the, and the variance. So the, the problem with doing this um, simple random sampling is you're not taking into account the population of each strata. So the common practice is to do the proportion uh, population, proportion sampling. Proportion to the population, probability proportion 